Hey everyone, welcome to Dave's Bonsai. On today's episode, 365 days in the life of the Fukian Tea. So here we have it, the Fukian Tea, 365 days in the life of. So last year about this time, just before the new year actually, I was contemplating some things about, well, the new year. Many of us make resolutions and think of ways that the next year is going to be better than the last. So 2020 with COVID and the world and upheaval that was going on, it was a tough year for all of us for, for many, many reasons. And something popped into my head about bonsai and I typically look at my trees once, twice, maybe three times a day, at least in the plant room, cold frames as well. I look at them every day and I make YouTube videos and I take pictures and something popped into my brain. Hey, let's challenge yourself. So my challenge, one of my New Year's resolutions, if you will, was to take a picture of my Fukian tea every day for a year. 365 snapshots of the life of this Fukian tea. And it's a finicky Fukian tea, as I've mentioned in previous shows. It's a show on my YouTube channel that has gotten many of uh, clicks um, for whatever reason. A lot of people out there have said that the, the Fukian tea is a really good beginner tree to have, and I just think it's finicky and an odd tree to work with. And I don't know that I would recommend it for a beginner, and I'm still learning all about this tree. So before we get any further with this particular tree, which we are gonna trim today for the first time in a while, my first trim of the new year. Well, technically, it's the 31st of December. I just took the final picture of this tree moments ago, and I'm gonna complete the video that you're gonna watch right now. So I have to go edit that in a little bit. I have everything done except for the last snapshot. So I've been recording this tree for 365 days. And now before you watch it, I do want to preface this by saying this. I had a few vacations in 2021, so I couldn't take the tree picture every single day. So in August, there's a little bit shorter of a span for that month. And there are a couple other days throughout the year where I wasn't able to be there on the actual day taking pictures. Um, so for record keeping sake, I would take two pictures the day after and I would slide them side by side. So there are probably about 335 or 36 pictures that are unique pictures for the year. So I missed about 30, about one month worth of actual pictures on the actual day. But we filled it up to show a picture a day, except for that August vacation time, uh, and July, by the way. And the rest of it was pretty close to every day for 365 days. So I wanted to be honest with that. No uh, trickery, no bait and switch, bait and hook, hook and switch and bait and all. Yeah, this is my attempt at 365 pictures, one a day for a year. I got very, very close. Here is the results of 365 days in the life of the Fukian tea. Enjoy.
That was a fantastic journey and, and hard to do some days. There were days when I, I thought late in the day, late in the evening, oh, I didn't take a picture yet. So I had to get my camera out. I had to make sure that I moved plants inside the plant room during the winter months. I'm moving plants around every time just to get this highlighted. It's so big. It's a it's a foot plus, 18 inches left to right. And and it was work, right? But any any good in life comes from work and effort and perseverance. And so my goal, I feel pretty comfortable that I attained my goal to my liking. Did I get 365 days of an actual photograph? Not quite, but close enough. And watching the trees grow every day for, for a full year. And I say trees because I have another surprise for you in my next video. Shh. So this one, as finicky as it is, it has these massive growth spurts and then it looks like it's going to die. And when you move it inside, this one looked really, really tough. As a matter of fact, I think I can show you an image from only about four to six weeks ago when we brought this in. This thing looked really peaked and like it was going to die. And then all of a sudden, one week, one day of one week, all of a sudden I noticed the leaves perked up. Whatever leaves were on the tree perked up. Everything else had fallen off and new buds started to be starting to pop out just slightly. And within a couple of days, the tree kind of looked alive again. So in the plant room, I was excited and I thought, oh, that's a really good time for me to start pruning the tree. But then I had to wait another month because I wanted to wait and take this picture for 365 days and didn't want to disturb it with only a few weeks left. So I went all the way here to the 31st of December and now we're going to cut this tree up. So it was fun to watch the video and I watched it several times and watching certain sides of the tree all of a sudden get a growth spurt and then you see the, the elongation of the leaves. It, you know, it's amazing with the two species I did this with, and again, I'll show you the next one very, very soon. Um, some days there was growth, some days there wasn't much. After a couple of days there was growth, you could see some movement after a couple of uh, blends of the photographs. Um, when you dissolve from one to the next, all of a sudden you'd see this growth. Just really, really interesting. We did prune this one twice in the year. Um, and so, you know, we had all this wild sporadic growth and then cut it down and wild sporadic growth, cut it down. Well, now we get to do that again. I hope you enjoyed that. I will incidentally post just that portion of the video, just 365 days 
I'll post that as a separate video in case people want to watch just that again. It's kind of an interesting view. And I did have to watch it a couple of times, several times for me to just kind of see all the nuances of the tree because I had a tendency to look at one side or the other. So if you have time and absolutely nothing to do on the cold, frigid winter days of uh, you know January in the new year, take a peek at it again. But now let's dig into the Fukian tea. So I'm gonna work from this side of the tree to try to give you the view that I'm looking at. I'll keep going back from my view to your view and, and we'll work on the tree. Oh, another thing about the video when you watch the 365 days, there were times when I had this as the front and there were times that I had this as the front. So the challenge of photographing this tree in different locations, two or three different locations throughout the year. Um, I didn't quite have that exact, exact spot and exact front throughout, but you could see the tree growing, so it was lots of fun. So, is this the front? Or is this the front? And one of the things I did last time when I worked on this tree was, indoors anyway, was do we want to put the tree up like that? We're going to change this angle. We have this really straight part of the bark right here, and then it curves up real nice here. And this was obviously a really big chop. I had some death on the Fukian tea. You can look back at the playlist for the Fukian, and you'll be able to see all the uh, iterations of the tree. And it had a big old S curve, but I chopped this out right here um, because um, it had had some death up here, and I just wanted. I, I'm, I'm not hugely fond of the really sharp S curve trees personally, and a lot of Vokian teas in the nursery stores come as S-shaped trees. But you can see this curve right here. Look at this natural bend right here. No wires on this tree. Um, some just interesting curves right here. Um, no wires on this tree since I've owned the tree, I should say. So we have a really flat part of the trunk right here. And then we have some curves here. And then, so I'm not sure what to do uh, with how to plant this next when I re repot it, but I may change the angle so it goes that way a little bit first, then comes back this way. And so we don't want this part of the tree to be straight up and down like it is right now. It looks like it's straight up and down and it bends over this way a little bit. So it's just a little bit odd. So we'll work with that. The other option, of course, is you could always turn it this way. Then it looks a little bit more straight up even more so. Uh, do we go even further this way? I always seem to cling to this view right here that we're going to make some kind of movement this way and have this part of the branches go down here and this could become the, the main part of the tree here. Um, and the other thing you have to do, of course, when you're working on the tree is turn it around. Now this hides the scar over here. We've got some good movement here. Maybe this is going to be the tree, huh? Maybe we do do it that way, All right? That looks kind of nice. And I, and I like how it hides that scar right there. We could clean this up a little bit right down here to make it a little bit more of a smooth uh, transition from thick to thin here. This is coming at the camera a lot right now. So as you look at this tree, this would come right at you a lot, but then this part of the tree looks pretty nice. Um, so we've got this nice little movement here. And if we, again, we move this to plant it more like this, give it some movement. Or if we move it up the way I was thinking back there, and if that's the front, that looks a little awkward. So maybe we have to bend it back this way a little bit more. And then, then that makes this part of the tree, though, just go way down deep and back. And it's an odd plane right there. So I'm not sure about that. So what's going to happen to the front of this tree? This root out here on this part of the tree, it's kind of scraggly, comes right out at us. There's a nice flaring root here, a flaring root underneath here. And I don't see a flaring root right there. Uh, there's one right there, a little one that's going to grow there. We would like to see some more growth right here for a flare. But this jaggedy root up here is kind of an awkward for, for, for this being the front of the tree. This has a, a, a better looking uh, nabari at the moment. It's just that we have this big scar here, which would heal. The other part of this tree is we could cut this whole branch off. And then we have this swooping tree this way. And then it brings back kind of that S look though. So I'm still gonna keep this tree on, this branch on for a while and we'll see. But this is becoming the main thrust of the tree in my opinion. The Fukian tea that I have right here that I've had for a few years now does grow very sporadically. And one of the easiest things to see, well this is a nice tree to show people pruning because you can see all the crossing branches. Look at this one right here. It's just going right over and cutting across over there. You know, we don't need that. So. 
if we're to cut it back to a, you know a, some growth back here maybe this strong leaf right here we cut it here maybe it'll grow up here and get a little curve and, and go back upward or if one of these two might take off closer to this branch so that crosses over here look at all this mess right in here we got this branch back here and one two three these three and then this one's poking right at the camera through these two and this one's coming right at the camera on the other side of it so this is just all super tangly and messy um, and some of these they, they just take off and they grow really really long they don't ramify really well once they start growing they just grow really long so we need to cut these back to get the oxen out of all the tips of these trees and make more growth inside and some of the growth inside is even starting to get a little weak right in here um, all these little ones in here are weaker because all the energy right now is on these tips so because it is starting to push out new growth now in the plant room and it, ha it had its resting period it had its period where the leaves fell off we can start to cut some of these back <clears throat> so one of the easiest things i could do is almost hedge prune this <clears throat> excuse me and we could go ahead and we could just make all of these branches shorter and just see what happens we don't have to defoliate this tree of course because we can see all the structure just fine because the leaves are small and just pushing out here in the last few weeks what to do with this tree dead stump right there there are some pruning stumps from before so i'm gonna have to make that decision right now before we go on do i want this to remain the front or do i make this the front even though it has that root which we could cut off in repotting season I think I'm going to treat this as the front. This has so much life in front of us that we're blocked, but on this view, it gives us texture to the tree. So we're, we're going to treat the, this as the front this time. And when we repot, maybe we'll change our mind. When we prune in another year, maybe we'll change our mind. But let's go ahead and think about that. So if this is our new front and we think about bringing this up kind of something like this tree coming up here and then swooping over here this is thick down in here we don't want this to be the main focus of the tree anymore I kind of want back here to be the focus of the tree so we're gonna have to cut the thickness of this branch and as you can see this goes thick straight up and then it divides back here and so there's there's a, there's a lot of uh, tree there and it's a lot coming at us. So this section I'm gonna have to be trimmed up. So this tree will look really more to the right when we're done. But in order for us to make this a tree that'll work in that direction, and I will kind of tilt it up a little bit back this way as well, then we can actually see this trunk. But this one comes right at us. And this is too thick and right at us. And this is also too thick and right at us. So I just cut those off. And now look at how this one's growing up. So we have this growth up here, up here, up here, and it grows up this direction. And we might, with, with pruning right now, we might get some back budding now more back here, and we'll see where, what happens with the growth of this tree. I'm gonna go ahead and cut this one off right here. because We have some buds back here. We have little buds here that you can't see. There's a couple of spots there where we might get some more growth on this tree. So I have to decide if I wanna keep these two trees, and I, I'm not gonna keep them tall, I'm going to keep them short and this might ramify um, it's kind of an awkward split right now this is a little chunky in our face so I like this branch right here but it cuts to two so I keep it I'm gonna guess I'm actually gonna get rid of that one so now from this branch it splits to two right here and comes up to here and we got some uh, movement up here for for this section of the tree we'll see if this splits off actually I'm gonna cut off this one as well we've got some buds back here some leaves growing back here a little tiny one right there we've got some growth in there we've just trimmed this way back and remember we're gonna kind of angle this back over here and like this so now we can actually see that trunk a little bit and what I will do since we're working on the tree now and we've got this older chunkier bark here I'm gonna go ahead and clean this off just a little bit
And so now this line right here is smoother, gentler. The scar in the back isn't as pretty. But we're going to see this as the front right now. We have a nice split there and we got a split right here and we'll see what this tree can do. Hopefully get some more growth like with these leaves back here. We'll get some more growth back here and we'll get a pod back here. And you can also see on this outside of this curve a lot of growth right there. And so hopefully something can establish there. There are, there are three or four little areas in here. One, two, three, four, five. And there's a lot of stuff right there that wants to take off. So that could become a nice uh, branch over here that fills up this space as well. So this one is growing straight up in our face as well. I think I'm just going to take it off. It's really kind of a big bulge right there. That area really wanted to grow new stuff. So again, I'm going to clean up this a little bit. This was a branch at one time. I can see the old scar now here. Healed over really well. But again, I don't want that huge bulge area in that part of the tree. So this is gonna be hopefully the new, the new leader someday. And now we have all these trees in the back. So again, remember, we're gonna go like this. And we have all this movement in the back. So we got all kinds of branches that are crossing each other. This right here comes out our face. We're gonna cut that right off. We have a, a branch here growing. We have a branch here growing. So that'll uh, help with that. I can probably cut this whole thing off. And I will. You can see all that wild and crazy growth. We'll see what happens here. We've got an old leaf scar here and a, and a branch scar. So we've got every other here. We'll see what happens in the growth pattern there. And then here's our three branches in a row. Boom, 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 all vertical. Now we don't like vertical typically on a lot of trees. We talk about cutting out that vertical branch, but um, we need some upward movement here. So if we're gonna have a tree up here, instead of a tree that's growing this way, because right now the predominant branch is growing back that way. And we don't want it to go back that way. I love this branch over here, how it comes off and curves over this way, but it's uh, too long. This is too long and this is too long. So if it's this way, you can see the ramification there. And right now it's flat, it grows this way. So we wanna have some growth going back up this way. So without any wiring, if we can just have uh, some of these leaves take off right here. There's one right here, there's one right here. If those grow up this way this year, and I get some growth this way, this would be fantastic. Now again, the tree will grow a, a, a part of a branch and boom, it'll just take off like these did right here. So you can see you can get that vertical growth eventually. So I should get some vertical growth on some of this right here. I'm gonna cut this one back actually one more. And so we're just gonna leave that right there. This gets really long on this side right here. Uh, I think for sure I'm gonna cut it shorter to there. I want this a really compact tree and this one's growing down, but this could be a fun branch down here if we had some ramification and here it splits right here real nicely. I'm gonna cut it down to here though. Keep some of the length and see if I have some more uh, splitting in this area. Got a dead branch right there. This is an old cut spot right there. So now we have to decide which of the three branches we're gonna keep and how far we keep this branch. So if I change the front a little bit so we can see it this way, you see that, you see the movement more, that's kind of nice. And if this grows up here in the background, that's kind of nice. We got this branch over here now. So instead of more straight on this way, do we have it more this way? I like that. And then even the root structure has the flare here and this root here. So if that's, if that's the tree, we have to decide. This splits into two right here and here, and I just cut this one off here, so I probably should get this one shorter, or this will take over as the thick tree. We might want this to be the leader, or this becomes the leader, and we cut this one back. Um, I, I like this branch still here, how it comes down, though, for this angle. But as I turn it more this way, it's more in our face.
Yeah, we just have boom, 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 boom. One, two, three, four. So it's kind of unattractive now. We have to figure out what this thing's going to do, what's it going to want to do. If you can see slightly here, there's this little bulge right here, this little movement, boom, 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 boom. And so if it comes to here, then this becomes the leader one day. We don't need any of that, right? And then we can cut this back. I could actually cut this one back maybe down to here because we have this growth right there. Um, what to do? I think this one just has to come off. We have this growth here so we can see what that's going to do. I don't like this branch going in the back here. It's competing with this back here, which we might not see as much anyway, unless we plant it more this way. But that's just going to give some filler space so we don't have a tree that's just narrow right here. See this narrow tree? We have all narrow right now, so we have to have some splitting out here, which will come in time. And as you as you saw from the 365 days, this thing will bush out and we'll have all kinds of different trees to cut, uh, branches to cut for next time. Well, right now, this one conflicts with all this growth back here. This growth back here grows out this way and over here, and this crosses it all, but these do not. And right now, this looks like it's the leader then, and this is, what are we going to do with this? This, this one right here is like a bar branch. See how this one competes with this one? And this grows down. So do we just keep that one and do we just cut all this extra stuff off? Hmm. If we cut all this off, it's a really awkward looking tree. Here's a look from this other side. Shows more life to the tree in three dimensions. I would cut this one off then, no, no questions asked, and keep this one and this one if I had this as the front, which it's not, it's an odd angle. This tree has some growing to do for sure. But again, these, these branches right here now, if this is all cut back, this will have all this energy to hopefully shoot on up and we'll have some choices to make in the coming year. I want to keep this one for, for thickness. I, I'm afraid to cut, or is this one, did I bump this one? Ah, I bumped that one. We just go back to that leaf. If we keep that there. But it's still the bar branch between there and there. So, I think I want to cut that one off. And I'm going to cut it off right here. This little one may come off someday, I don't know. I'm only gonna keep this one taller because this one's, I don't want them to be the exact same size. So from the back and this weird side, you can see more of the tree, which looks much nicer. And we just have to wait for time and new growth now to see if this will maintain as the potential front of the tree. But I'll leave it at that because this tree does act very finicky and uh, finicky and uh, we'll shoot up some sporadic growth now here and we'll see what happens. I do see some reverse taper in here still. Here's the part I trimmed earlier, but there's this little thickness here before this bottom part of the trunk. So it'd be great if we had a sacrificial branch down here develop, thicken up this trunk some more. Which also might mean too, I, I, you know, perhaps I get rid of this thick trunk right here, cut this back to this thin one right here, get rid of all this stuff back here. We just have this little stub of a tree that can just now start to grow more. But I'll leave it on there for now. We'll leave it in the plant room. We've got a lot of room to grow now. I think we'll leave it right there for right now.
Well, there we have it. We're just gonna leave it like this. I keep looking at it and spinning it around and it is a, a kind of a contorted, odd looking tree and it almost looks a little too heavy back in this area. Um, actually, what I can do is let's cut this one right, right there off. Now it goes out, over, up, and this one is going still this way. Get this nub out of here. There we go. Okay, now we're done. Now we're done. Let's just leave it right there. <laughs> All right. So we'll put this back on the bench. Uh, what a fun journey. 365 days in the life of the Fukian tea. Go back and watch that anytime. Again, I'm going to post that as a separate video. It's about seven, seven and a half minutes long of uh, about 330 or so individual images of this growing in a year from inside the plant room, outside for the spring, summer, and fall, and then back in here to finish up the growing season. Fantastic, super fun. Hey, happy new year to everybody. By the time I put this online, it should be the new year or very, very close. We'll see how fast I can get my work done today. But happy new year to you all. Uh, I wish you all the best in the new year. Whatever your resolutions are with bonsai trees or your life, I hope everything comes true. And uh, this has been a fun little project. And hey, I've got one more. So look forward to the next video. We've got another tree with 365 days in the life. I figured while I was doing one, I could just do two. So I always kept them side by side. That one is coming up on the next episode. Until then, hey, take care of you. Take care of your bones. I happy new year, everybody. And we'll catch you on the next one.